Hello, friends, and welcome back to r slash Tales from Retail. So today we have three new stories for you. The first one about a lady who didn't understand the salesman's good gesture and paid for it. But before we begin, thank you so much to everyone who subscribed to the channel and put in a notation so you don't miss new videos every single day. Let's move to our first story. Angry lady because of free oranges. I used to work at a large organic grocer. I was working the express lane because I was one of the fastest cashiers over five years experience, knew all my codes and made very few errors, and the store was packed for lunch rush. This one lady with a bad wig comes through my lane with only a few items. She had grapes, a bag of oranges, and a couple of cans of beans. While well, she shoves her bag onto my register scanner and one of the oranges fell out of the bag onto the floor beside me. This is where it all started. Wig lady will be WG, I will be me. Me. Hey, sorry, one of your oranges just fell, so I'm giving you the bag for free. You can get another one on your way out if you like. WG. Excuse me? Were you even going to tell me that or just let me have the orange that fell on the dirty floor? Me. What? I just told you it fell on the floor. You don't have to take it. You can get a new one on the way out. Produce section was right by the entrance. WG. But you weren't going to tell me? Me. I don't understand. I'm giving you the whole bag for free. You don't have to take this one. I don't like your attitude. Well, I'm sorry. Then I told her her total, which included the free oranges. WG. Nope. I don't like your attitude. Dropping people's food. Me. Okay, I'm sorry. It was an accident, so I'm not charging you for the oranges. Well, it doesn't sound like a sincere apology. I don't like your attitude or the look of your face. You're just a sarcastic, nasty person. I don't know what's going on in your life, but you are being ugly. It's like I had a moment of clarity. I smiled real big and turned off my light, put up my close sign, locked my register, and look her right in the eye, and I'm trying not to laugh, because I've been waiting all my cashier years to finally say it. I don't have to take this. WG. What? Yes, you do. I'm the customer. Me. Nope. You can talk to my manager. I'm cracking up at this point. No, I'm talking to you. You can't treat people like this. So I'm laughing and walking away from the register. Me. Nope. Let's go talk to my manager together. Follow me. I even motion with my arm for her to follow me. She's just standing at the register, getting irate, and I'm laughing and heading to the guest services desk. I was almost skipping, but my blood was also boiling like I wanted to karate chop her in the throat. My manager looks scared. There's an angry woman going off about how rude I am, and I'm just cackling. My manager told me to leave the floor, so I go to the back where the break room is. I get called into the office after wig lady leaves, a good 30 minutes of her screaming at guest services. The store manager and assistant are in there with the guest services guy, and they just ask, what happened? I tell them how I dropped an orange, apologized, and offered the whole bag of oranges for free. The managers are all sitting there, blinking at me, and one says, that's what you're supposed to do. So why was she mad? I recounted this tale for them, like I just did, and they were still just staring at me. Well, how dare you give away free oranges, the manager said jokingly. And from then on, they would always say, don't drop any oranges today, or how many free oranges have you given away today? Apparently, she demanded I be fired, came in three other times to purposely F with me and demand I be fired. I tried to get her banned, but store management changed and didn't want to be negative towards customers. I wasn't fired, but eventually quit a good year and a half later. I don't understand. You don't eat the orange peel, so why would it matter if it fell on the ground? And our second story. I run a store, not a daycare. I work at a sports-themed store that sells merchandise for the local professional team. Most parents seem to think that I also have proper equipment for said sport. There are a lot of stories there. So they often drop their kids at my store while they shop in the rest of the mall. One day, a mom leaves her kid, looked like he was maybe eight or nine at the door, and runs off. This is after Christmas, maybe like the 30th or so if memory serves, so the kid has some spending money he probably got from his family for Christmas. He wanders around the store for a while before noticing some hats. My store's policy is to treat everyone as a customer, so I walk over to the kid and talk to him a bit. 
I'm not really trying to push a sale like I might if he were an adult, but I have to tell him about our sales and such, one of which is a deal on the hat he likes. Eventually, the kid brings the hat to me along with some other novelty items and asks me to ring him out. I know this kid probably won't care about most of this stuff in a day, but he wanted to buy it, so I had to sell it to him. He buys maybe $30 worth of stuff and leaves to go find his mom. So that's the background info. Here's where the story really starts. Mom comes back in, kid in tow, finds me instantly. It's important to note that I was one of three workers at the time, but she singled me out anyway. How dare you? Me. Pardon? What makes you think it's okay to take advantage of a child like that? Um, I haven't taken advantage of anybody, ma'am. I'm not sure what the problem is here. You tricked my son into buying your crap with all his Christmas money. I want you to refund all this stuff for him. I didn't trick him. He asked me to check him out. At this point, the kid speaks up and confirms what I'm saying. Rock on, kid. But mom is still not having it. And then you just let him leave? He's just a kid. Ma'am, I just run a store. We're responsible for our merchandise, not children. I didn't think to stop him from wandering off because he seemed a capable and responsible kid. He could have gotten lost or hurt because you let him leave. Ma'am, we're just a store. If you'd like to return your son's items, I'd be happy to help you with that. But if you need a babysitter, I suggest you go to the daycare across the road. She got a little more grumpy and probably said more stuff, but it kind of fizzled out from there. Another manager came over to see what the problem was at that point, which might have helped the mom cool off too. She ended up leaving with all the stuff the kid bought, and I haven't seen them again. And our last story. You have to sell it to me for that price. It's the law. I used to work as a cashier at a grocery store a long time ago. At the front of the store, near the registers, we had stacks of bags of charcoal. There were a few different kinds, all clearly labeled. Two of the big bags look rather similar, being the same color, but are clearly different brands if you bother to read. These two are placed at opposite ends with two or three other brands in between them. They are Samurai, that's a cheap brand like 10 bucks, and Shogun, expensive brand like 40 bucks. Naturally, people will sometimes put something back in the wrong place after deciding they don't want it. So one fateful day, a middle-aged gentleman comes to my register. I'm not going to call him Mag because I think it's silly to abbreviate names like that in stories like these. No offense to those who do, I just don't see the point. Anyway, he's got a shopping cart full of your normal groceries, and as I'm scanning the items, he walks over to the charcoal pallets. I see him walk over to the samurai stack and notice that someone has placed a bag of Shogun on it. He scans the prices up on the wall, picks up the Shogun bag since it was supposedly the cheapest one he saw. I know what's going to happen, so I try to defuse the situation before it even happens. Naturally, you know I fail, since you're reading this story. Sir, just so you know, that charcoal is a Shogun, not samurai from the stack where you found it. It's $40, I tell him. He looks at the bag, then back up at the wall above the samurai stack and sees the price. But it says $10 on the price label. I point out that's for the samurai charcoal. It says so right above the price. But I got it from that stack, he said, pointing to the samurai stack. I understand, but it's not the same brand. Another customer must have put it there when they decided they didn't want it. Now, I should say I have a small tick where I quickly turn my head to the side usually happens when I get stressed, and dealing with this guy was starting to get stressful. So my tick happens, and his eyes light up. Oh, oh, I see, he feigns. I think he thinks I'm mentally challenged because of my tick. So he continues, well, champ, why don't you go ahead and scan it, and we'll see what price comes up, with a stupid little grin on his face. One billion percent sure it's going to scan $10. I scan it, sure enough, 40 bucks. But the sign says 10, he whines. I try to show him the Shogun stack. Sir, if you'd look over there, that's the brand that you have here, Shogun. He looks over, sees the Shogun stack, looks back at the Samurai stack, the Shogun bag, and the prices of both brands. Something clicks. He doesn't say anything for a few moments. I can hear him thinking. Oh, so they're different. Well, you have to sell me this one for $10, though. 
Um, sorry, sir, I, I can't do that. You have to. It's the law. I'm sorry, what law is that? It was mislabeled, so you have to sell it to me for the lower price. It's false advertising otherwise. A guy from another lane shouts over, Dude, that's not what false advertising is. Somebody just put the wrong bag on that stack, you idiot. Charcoal Dude ignores him and says, Are you going to sell it to me for the lower price, or do I have to talk to your manager? I'm just about done with this guy. So I shout back towards customer service, ID. We need manager ID card to change prices. That's not why I called, though. It also brings a manager out to solve any issues. So one of the managers arrives, and I explain what happened to her with him trying to butt in every few seconds. I forgot exactly what he said, but he lied about some aspects, and the guy who was in the other lane was still there, so he came over and corroborated my version of events. My manager says, I'm sorry, sir, the prices are clearly marked, and this is clearly Shogun brand charcoal, which is $40. Samurai brand is 10 bucks. If you want charcoal for 10 your only option is the Samurai brand. The guy looked back at the charcoal pallets and the Shogun bag he had. But it's the law. I'm supposed to get the cheaper price by law. It's the law. You'd think he was a lawyer with how much he said the word law. He argued with my manager for a few more seconds, but she wouldn't budge. He eventually got fed up and stormed off without his groceries yelling, They're breaking the law. False advertising. It's against the law. Ree! Okay, he didn't really screech, but I'm taking some artistic liberty. Didn't you know? If you move an item to a spot on the shelf that has a cheaper price, it becomes that price. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked the video, and I'll see you in the next one.